Hi, it's Kanisha Grayson from Kanisha's Crazy Girl Nation, and today's question comes to us all the way from Australia. Jess writes, Hi, Kanisha. First of all, thanks for your blog. I am in no doubt a crazy girl, and this blog has been a source of much comfort and guidance over the past year since I discovered it. Thank you, Jess. I appreciate that. I was hoping that I might be able to convince you to write a post on giving a relationship a second chance. I split from my boyfriend early last year. We had been together five years from the age of 20. The communication broke down and we both just gave up because we didn't know what else to do. After a year apart, we have both grown, matured, and changed. We have come to the realization that we still have a very strong connection and have decided to give things another go. The issue for me is where to go from here. As I mentioned, I am a crazy girl at heart and I am finding that I have to fight the tendency to want to control the whole process. I also find that if something doesn't go the way I expect or I don't get the reaction I want, I tend to freak out and think everything is falling apart again. I know that feeling <laughs> and I have been there. I know that this behavior is not going to help the situation and is likely to push him away if it continues. I am working on maintaining the happiness within myself that I developed during our time apart. However, the tendency to go back into old habits and overanalyze the situation is still there. I was hoping you may have some words of wisdom for this as I'm not sure the usual dating rules apply to this situation, or maybe they do. As you can see, I am in a bit of a pickle and really trying to navigate my way through it. Hope to see a post on this at some stage. Thanks for all the great advice. Jess from Sydney, Australia. First of all, I think it's great that when it seemed like it wasn't working, communication was just falling apart, you two didn't kind of hold on to it even though you had put in a lot of time together five years and just trying, me and my friends, we call it turn it into dust where you just stay in a relationship until it is so bad that you just can't even stand to see each other and then you feel okay breaking up. And I'm glad that it, it doesn't sound like you guys did that. It just kind of was falling apart and rather than turn it into dust, you went your separate ways stayed apart for a year so that I actually think is also another sign of real maturity for both of you that you didn't kind of do the, the go back keep sleeping together keep hanging out you know just because neither of you wants to deal with the pain of being without one another so good for you for the two of you for staying apart from each other for a year but now you're back together I don't know anything about your boyfriend but that he I do believe that he can have matured in a year my question for you my question for you is have you matured in a year because it sounds like you're kind of falling back into your old you know crazy girl at a level 10 ways which is trying to control everything freaking out if things don't happen the way you want them to and believe me jess i know exactly how you feel i still it still happens to me and i still do it but what you're going to have to do is realize that trying to control um, another person uh, trying to control your relationship, trying to control things that really are not in your control will never make you happy and it will never work. We crazy girls have this need or this desire to control everything out of a fundamental lack of trust. We don't trust ourselves and our decisions that we make and our intuition enough, even though we have a very strong sense of intuition. We don't trust our partner to do the right thing or to um, you know hold up his end of the bargain and we also just kind of have a fundamental lack of trust in the goodness of the universe and the, the goodness of life you don't need to control everything um, in order for things to work out we control because we feel like if we don't control the situation what will happen everything will fall apart but the problem is is that when you try and control things and you suffocate people with your freaking out and your controlling and your craziness everything falls apart anyway. And so it doesn't serve you to try and control everything. So that's why I think we control. When you find yourself being bossy, nagging, crazy girl, freaking out, controlling, bossy, nagging, crazy girl, freaking out, controlling, I think that we need to kind of take some steps to get out of that almost like a hypnotic state of hysteria. And, and get back into like normal, lovable you. <laughs> so first of all, just becoming aware that you are controlling. Usually, because like, like I said, it's kind of a hypnotic state. 
So sometimes it takes our partner calling us out on it and telling us that we're being controlling. So that's one thing that you might want to consider communicating to your boyfriend is asking him, can you please, in a loving and gentle way, let me know when I am being controlling and bossy and kind of driving you nuts. Uh, secondly, you want to pause once you know you've been controlling and call it out. So the way you can call it out is like, you know, you could be in the middle of a nag fest, ah, I'm crazy, and then just say, hey, you know what? I think I'm trying to control the situation too much. I'm nagging, not being the person I want to be. I'm gonna just take a step back. And you can say it out loud. You don't have to say it out loud, but sometimes saying it out loud helps your partner understand that you are moving out of state of hysteria into state of calmness. And then the, the next thing is maybe you can name your fear. You can say it out loud to your partner, or you can just say it to yourself. So you can say, you know, right now I'm afraid that if I don't, you know, organize every single detail of our vacation next weekend, we'll get there and we won't be organized and we won't have any fun. And you can just kind of name your fear. And once you name that fear, it's less powerful because it's not swimming around in your head getting bigger and bigger. It's something that's come out of your mouth, it's in the world and y'all can talk about it. You do not have to solve every problem as soon as that problem pops up or occurs to you. You can sometimes just name a problem kind of and just follow it away in your mind and just let it stew there for a while. Not stew like angry stew. <laughs> but just kind of percolate there for a while and you can get your solution later. A great place to freak out is on paper in a journal. A bad place to freak out is on your boyfriend. That is that roller coaster of emotions can be very overwhelming to, to men and to anybody and for yourself. And sometimes it's just better to get all those feelings out on paper and you just, it's kind of self-soothing. You're taking care of yourself. You're not looking to someone else to kind of be the vessel for all you, the, the vomiting of your emotions. And one thing you said that kind of um, was funny to me is you're like, I'm not sure if usual dating rules apply here. Yes, they do. Usual dating rules apply. If anything, whatever these dating rules you're referring to, um, if anything, they probably apply more strictly because this is kind of a, a, a this is an ex-boyfriend that you're dating again. These are the kinds of things that you want to address now before you get hitched and you are legally bound to this person for life. As I always encourage my crazy girls, first start with yourself and improving yourself and then everything else around you will get better, including your relationship. If you want to get your relationship question answered, visit me at crazygirlnation.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Sign, well, there's no newsletter. I really don't send out a newsletter. It's a mailing list. But that mailing list is comprised of a lot of readers who are really excited about my book coming out, Be Your Own Boyfriend, and they want to know when it's going to come out. And so sign up on that list and you'll be the first to know when it comes out. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.